What is up everyone, it is Sacred Saiyan here, welcoming you back to another video. So today we're going to be continuing my origin series, what if Sacred Saiyan was in Dragon Ball. You guys loved the last video, and if you end up liking today's video then please consider subscribing. It is free and you can always unsubscribe later. Also, if you want to join my Discord server, then there is a link to that in the description of the video. You can talk to me and my community, grind for roles, hang out, and if you put your art in the art text channel, and 10 people react to it with a star, it will get featured at the end of a video. With all of that out of the way, let's get into today's episode of... What if Sacred Saiyan was in Dragon Ball? So after the last video, I know a lot of you are wondering if Gohan has more potential than Sacred. Well, the answer to that is both yes and no. Gohan has more potential than Sacred before he was born, but as soon as Gohan was born, his potential would get added to Sacred's, meaning Sacred would have more potential than Gohan after he was born. With that cleared up, let's continue with the story. Sacred takes the role of mentor and master for both his brother Raditz and his son Gohan. He trains them both as he wants them to be powerful in their own right, and also because Sacred knows the responsibility he has as a Sacred Saiyan. He will use his power and knowledge to benefit not only his timeline, but any timeline that needs it. And if he can have allies who are strong enough to help other timelines as well, then that means they will be able to help a lot more people. We now skip to when the Saiyans arrive. Vegeta and Nappa first blow up a city, and then the Scouters detect a power level of 5000. They fly over to the person with the power level of 5000, and they end up in a wasteland, coming face to face with Sacred, Gohan, and Raditz. Vegeta is outraged at Raditz's betrayal, but Sacred interrupts him, telling Vegeta to listen. They will help them defeat Frieza, if Vegeta and Nappa both renounce their evil ways and never harm an innocent person again. Vegeta laughs, saying for a low class scum, he is very arrogant. Sacred may be stronger than Raditz, but even with Raditz having a power level of 5000 now, that is still nothing compared to himself. Sacred looks to Raditz, and tells him to demonstrate his full power. Raditz does so, powering up to full power in his base form. Training with Sacred would have naturally gave Raditz good key, so not only can he transform into Super Saiyan God, but he also has a God-infused base. The scouters of Vegeta and Nappa instantly explode, and the two Saiyans are terrified of the power of Raditz. Sacred says they have one final chance. They can either die like Frieza will, or they can join them. Vegeta is visibly angry, and even though his pride fights against it, he reluctantly agrees to join Sacred. Nappa, being Vegeta's underling, would follow Vegeta and agree to join Sacred as well. Sacred smiles, and he then searches for Frieza's energy throughout the universe. Sacred finds out that Frieza is on his way to Namek, and he can guess why that is. Obviously, Sacred would know Namek has Dragon Balls, but he is surprised Frieza knows as well. Sacred tells the others where Frieza is heading, and he says as soon as Frieza lands on Namek, he will teleport them all to him. In the meantime, Sacred will train them all in preparation for their battle with Frieza. Vegeta scoffs at the idea of being trained by someone of the lower class, but then, Sacred remarks that he thought Vegeta would want to be the one to kill Frieza. However, it seems like he wants the glory to be given to someone else. Vegeta snaps back, saying he will be the one to kill Frieza. Frieza will regret looking down upon the Prince of All Saiyans. We now skip to Frieza arriving on Namek. As soon as he exits his ship, Sacred along with Gohan, Raditz, Vegeta and Nappa appear. Nappa shoots three key blasts, instantly killing both Zarbon and Dodoria and also destroying Frieza's ship. Frieza chuckles, seeing the monkeys arrive just like the purple man told him. The Saiyans are visibly confused and then Frieza points at Sacred saying he is the one he wants to fight. Ever since that monkey Raditz arrived on Earth, he was watching through his scouter, and when he saw a powerful Saiyan with an undetectable power level, he was terrified, because he remembered the only other being he saw with an undetectable power level, Lord Beerus. So then he realised that stupid prophecy came true. That stupid Saiyan legend. Sacred was either the Super Saiyan, or even worse, he was the Super Saiyan God. This was concerning to him at first. However, he has trained for over a year now, ever since the day Raditz arrived on Earth, and he is fully confident in his newfound power. Sacred laughs, saying for a moment he thought Frieza was actually smart. 
He thought Frieza actually figured out what he truly was. But Frieza thinks he is only a Miss Super Saiyan or Super Saiyan God. Sacred tells Vegeta he can have his fun with Frieza, and Vegeta gladly accepts this offer. The Saiyan Prince rushes at Frieza, trying to land a punch on his face, but Frieza catches his arm with his tail, saying Vegeta isn't worth his time, and with a swift backhand, he knocks Vegeta out. Raditz steps up next, and Sacred tells Gohan to watch how Raditz fights. This could be a good lesson for Gohan. Raditz says he's going to deal with this scum himself, and Frieza says he would like to see him try. However, before Frieza can say another word, Raditz already lands a powerful kick on his jaw, sending the tyrant flying. Frieza gets annoyed, rushing towards Raditz, and they begin to trade blows and clash fists. Even with over a year of training, Frieza is only slightly stronger than Raditz, and since Raditz has the advantage in skill, it evens the odds. Then, out of nowhere, Frieza begins to scream in agony, and he falls to the ground. A mysterious purple figure then appears in the sky, and begins to collapse sarcastically. Sacred asks them who they are, and they introduce himself as Few. Few then says, what an honour it is to meet THE Sacred Saiyan. However, that isn't why he is here. Frieza came here to use the Dragon Balls to become immortal, seeing as he still had doubts about his power, and clearly those doubts weren't misguided. He was barely stronger than Raditz base to base. He could obviously tell by Frieza and Raditz were hiding a powerful form, and since they weren't transforming themselves, he decided he would force them to. Make things more exciting. Raditz says nobody is going to force him to do anything, and Few laughs, saying if Raditz doesn't transform, then he will die. Few snaps his fingers, and then Frieza stands up, his eyes now red, and he has a strange purple goo covering a portion of his face. Frieza then transforms into his golden form, and then Few tells Frieza to kill Raditz. Few then disappears, and Frieza rushes towards Raditz. Raditz quickly transforming into perfected Super Saiyan God to barely dodge an attack from Frieza. Frieza and his golden form normally would easily be able to overpower Raditz, but not only does the purple goo on Frieza's face leave him completely under Few's control, but it also makes him significantly stronger. Frieza is about to kill Raditz, but then Sacred stands in front of Frieza, saving Raditz, and he then slaps Frieza into a mountain. Frieza gets back up, and then Sacred says if Frieza's worst fear is a Super Saiyan, then he will show him a Super Saiyan. Sacred powers up, instantly transforming into a Super Saiyan. His hair now spiked up and golden. Sacred then outstretches his hand, using the erasure technique of Zeno, and saying, Be gone from this timeline. Frieza is completely erased, and then, Sacred heals both Raditz and Vegeta. From afar, Few watches on, and sees that their new version of their villainous Mo power-up works perfectly. The villain not only gets a substantial power boost, but is also left completely under their control. Toa and Mira will be pleased. Few then disappears, and we head back to the Saiyans who are now at the Grand Elder Guru's home. The Grand Elder thanks Sacred for saving his planet, and he says in return, he can boost Sacred's power significantly by unlocking his potential. Sacred thanks Guru for the offer, however he says he doesn't want it. But he does want to see the Grand Elder unlock someone else's potential, because then after seeing it, he should be able to learn that ability for himself. The Grand Elder then unlocks the potential of Raditz, and Sacred tries to replicate this with Vegeta, and it is a great success. He can give a far greater power boost than the Guru, and now because of this, Vegeta has caught up to Raditz in base form. Sacred thanks the Guru, and he then teleports himself, along with the other Saiyans, back to Earth. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video, and if you did then make sure to like, comment, and please do subscribe. It is quick, and easy to do. With all of that out of the way, I hope to see you all in the next episode of... What if Sacred Saiyan was in Dragon Ball?